Hello students, uh, today I will explain you about Mendel's law of inheritance. Mendel postulated three laws, law of dominance, law of segregation and law of independent assortment. So let's start. The law of dominance. Let's see the definition. When two homozygous individuals with one or more set of contrasting characters are crossed. The alleles character that appears in F1 generation are dominant and those which express themselves are dominant and those which do not appear in F1 generation are recessive. Those characters which get suppressed are recessive. Let's see the explanation. Phenotype. External appearance. Homozygous tall plant is crossed with homozygous dwarf plant. Now what do we mean by crossing? In crossing, we take the pollen grains of a flower of a tall plant and deposit on the stigma of the flower of dwarf plant or vice versa. This is called as crossing. So here, homozygous tall plant is crossed with homozygous dwarf plant. Genotype, since it is homozygous tall, it is pure tall. So the genotype will be capital T, capital T. Coming to homozygous dwarf plant, the genotype will be small t, small t. Gamete formation, here will be capital T and here it will be small t. On crossing, we get in F1 generation capital T small t. The plant will be heterozygous tall. So here you can see there are two alleles. Allele for tallness that is capital T and allele for dwarfness that is small t. But here the plant is heterozygous tall means allele for tallness has expressed itself since it is dominant character and allele for dwarfness that is small t is recessive it gets suppressed in presence of dominant allele now the result of f1 generation are self crossed that is called as inbreeding or selfing so gametes will be here capital T small t capital T small t. So let's see the crossing by checkers board method that is Punnett square method. So F2 generation we get this result. There are four plants out of which three plants are tall and one plant is dwarf. So the phenotypic ratio will be 3 is to 1. Three plants are tall, one plant is dwarf. Coming to genotype, you can see here one plant is homozygous tall, two plants are heterozygous tall and one plant is homozygous dwarf. So the genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1. So law of dominance is used to explain the expression of only one of the parental character that you have seen in F1 generation. Allele for tallness expressed itself of a monohybrid cross in F1 generation and the expression of both in F2 generation. You have seen both the alleles express themselves in F2 generation, especially allele for dwarfness. It is a recessive character. But when the recessive alleles are in homozygous condition, they will express themselves. That is homozygous dwarf. Second is law of segregation called as law of purity of gametes. Mendel's second law. On crossing a pair of contrasting characters, 
alleles comes together means characters comes together they remains together without mixing and separates out during gamete formation let's see the explanation homozygous red color flower means plant producing homozygous red color flower is cross with a plant producing homozygous white color flower this is the phenotype homozygous red color and capital r capital r or small r small r is the genotype so during gamete formation we get here capital r and here small r in crossing we get here capital r small r this is heterozygous red color the plant will produce heterozygous red color flower in f1 generation so here the alleles comes together they remains together capital r and small r these are two different alleles they comes together they remains together now when we go for self cross when we do selfing in breeding and the result of f1 generations are self crossed so gametes you can see a gamete formation capital r small r capital r small r so in gamete formation the alleles get separated as per the law on crossing a pair of contrasting characters the factors comes together remains together you can see a but separate during gamete formation you can see capital r in one gamete small r in another gamete let's see further crossing this is the result out of four combinations three plants will produce red color flower and one plant will produce white color flower since it is in homozygous condition there is a phenotype that is 3 is to 1 and the genotype will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 one plant will produce homozygous red color two plants heterozygous red color and one plant homozygous white color so this law is based on the fact that the allele do not show any blending or mixing as i've told you the allele comes together remains together without mixing capital r and small r they were together without mixing and they separate it out during gamete formation and both the alleles characters are recovered as such in f2 generation though one of this is not seen at the f1 stage as in f1 stage you have seen plant producing red color flower not white color flower so the white color flower it was not seen in f1 stage but it was seen in f2 stage so during formation of gametes these two alleles factors obviously separate or segregate otherwise recessive type will not appear in f2 generation you can see over here again in this diagrammatic representation the gametes which are formed are always pure for a particular character that is trait gamete may carry either dominant or recessive factor but not both as you can see a gamete either carries capital r allele for red color or it carries small r allele for white color flower but not both and that's why it is called as law of purity of gamete the so statement of law of segregation the law states that when hybrid f1 forms a gamete the allele segregate from each other and enter in different gamete the gamete formed are pure in that they carry only one allele each hence this law is also described as law of purity of gametes 
Mendel's third law, law of independent assortment. This law is based on dihybrid cross. In Mendel's law of dominance and law of segregation, we have considered only one pair of contrasting character. That is monohybrid cross. But here, we will consider two pairs of contrasting character. The so two pair of contrasting character, dihybrid cross. It's a basic principle of genetics developed by Mendel. It describes how different genes or alleles present on separate chromosome independently separate from each other during formation of gametes. These alleles are randomly united in fertilization. So in dihybrid cross, F2 phenotypic ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 indicates that the two pairs of character behave independent of each other. It can be concluded that the two characters under consideration are assorted independently, giving rise to different combinations. Statement of law of independent assortment When hybrid possessing two or more pairs of contrasting factor alleles forms gametes, the factor in each pair segregate independently of the other pair. And this will come to know in the example which I will explain you. So, dominant, one is dominant character, another is recessive character. Here we are considering two characters. The first is shape of seed. Round shape is dominating over wrinkled. So this is one character. Second is color of seed. Yellow color seed is dominating green color seed. So here we have considered two characters, shape of seed and color of seed. Regarding shape of seed, the dominant one is round, recessive is wrinkled shape. Regarding color of seed, dominant is yellow, recessive is green color seed. So the phenotype, plant producing round shape seed, yellow in color is crossed with plant producing wrinkled shaped seed green in color. So the genotype will be capital R, capital R for round, capital Y, capital Y for yellow seed. And the genotype here will be small r, small r, small y, small y. Gamete formation, capital R, capital Y, small r, small y. After crossing, you get round yellow, heterozygous form, capital R, small r, capital Y, small y in F1 generation. When the result of F1 generation are self-crossed, so you get here four types of gametes. You can see a capital R, capital Y, capital R, small y, small r, capital Y, small r, small y. Please note here, we have considered two plants, one plant producing round yellow seed, another plant producing wrinkled green seeds. These are two combinations, there will be two more combinations as per law of independent assortment. So here, four types of gametes are formed. So you will get this result. There are 16 combinations you can see round yellow total there are nine then round green there are three wrinkled yellow are three wrinkled green is one the phenotypic ratio is nine is to three is to three is to one we have taken two plants, round yellow, 
cross with wrinkled green. We got two combinations. Round green and wrinkled yellow. So round yellow 9, round green 3, wrinkled yellow 3, wrinkled green 1. Phenotypic ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1.